is First Coast News at noon. We are following breaking news this afternoon out of the Brentwood area. An Amber Alert has been issued for a Jacksonville five-year-old girl. Her name is Taylor Williams. So last seen last night at her home in Brentwood. If you think about Brentwood, that specific neighborhood, by the way, this is the five-year-old. That's Taylor. Uh, this is uh, Ivy Street. We're talking about North Pearl, uh, mm -hmm. the area near the Gateway Shopping Center. So that part of town is where the search is. But now you mentioned Amber Alert. That means it's statewide. Right. They, we're told now, according to JSO, the back door of her home was unlocked. Last seen around midnight, though when uh, caregivers went in to check on her early this morning, she was gone. That was around 7.20 this morning. So no telling what happened in those details between that time. Detectives say they have the expanded search going now door to door. They've got equestrian teams going there uh, right now. More than 100 police officers. We've got uh, homicide detectives, patrol officers out searching for Taylor Williams as well. So they are using every possible resource right now, going door to door, like Lewis said, using canines. They're searching by foot. The equestrian team, mm -hmm. as you said, even helicopters and their own drones are out there searching this area that they're saying is expanding at this point because they have not been able to locate Taylor. Now we do have team coverage of this search. We want to start with Lonnie. Harris. Lana, what are you seeing? Good afternoon. We know that nothing is off the table yet, so we're seeing a lot of resources pouring into the command center. By the time I got here around 8 30 this morning, I'd say about half of the cars were here in this area, and then people have just come in um, slowly but surely. I've seen JSO officers, JFRD officers, I've seen members from the Navy walking around here. We've seen them on horseback, we've seen them on foot. Uh, again, we've seen canines out here. It is such an expansive search right now. And like we were saying earlier, it's different than if these were a teens missing, a 10 year old missing. At five years old, Tabor Williams is so young and so small. That's the age where you still might need to hold a hand as you cross the street. And again, she's been missing for 12 hours at this point. So if you're from this area, again, it's the Brentwood area. She specifically went missing off of the 600 block of Ivy Street. Think of places you used to play as a child. If you or your kids know Taylor, maybe they have a secret hiding place in, you know, in the places they normally play. If you can think of anything that might be beneficial, tell police. If you're a parent, I'm sure you can imagine the horror of waking up and finding that your five-year-old is not in your house. So if you can keep an eye out around restaurants, shopping plazas, playgrounds, just in this area, there's the May Man Jennings Park, there's the Brentwood Park, the Brentwood Golf Course, and of course, keep your ears out. Listen for crying or yelling. She's been missing for so long. She's going to need some help and she's going to need some food. We have team coverage, like we mentioned at the top of the show. Troy Kless is out here also as well. He has been um, tracking the resources that have been used in the search for Taylor. Troy, what can you tell us? Thank you, Juana. And some of those resources you kind of mentioned before, both by air and on the ground as well, and even by horse. We have seen the JSO mounted patrol unit out here, um, along with, again, over 100 uh, other personnel, police officers, detectives from different departments within the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And the helicopter is circling around this area as we speak, uh, again, aiding in that search. But we also know that the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department, along with other resources, are joining in on the search as well. So getting reaction from neighbors that live in this community, obviously they are all very uh, heartbroken hearing what happened about Taylor Williams, but they are praying for her safe return to her family. So we asked um, about the community and what the sense is here um, in this Brentwood area. And many said that it is a very tight knit community and that many people have been living here all of their lives. But the people that we've spoken to uh, say that they didn't know uh, Taylor or her family personally, but say that they are obviously going to keep a lookout. Uh, police officers are going door to door asking if they've seen Taylor, if they know anything, and they're also handing out flyers with information about Taylor's description and, and urging the people to call the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office if they know anything right now. So again, we're gonna continue to keep you updated. But again, everyone um, is still on the search for Taylor Williams. Again, three foot tall, 50 pounds with brown eyes and brown hair. And again, is being, uh, there's a large search effort and Amber Alert has been issued. So a statewide um, alert issued for this girl here from the Brentwood area. But for now, live in Jacksonville, I'm Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.